we had a housing crisis before we ever had a wildfire. Housing, a challenge in the Rogue Valley that's been exasperated by the Almeda and South Open Chain fires, destroying around 2,500 housing units across the Rogue Valley. The response after the fire was first to make sure that people were housed and then after we figured out some, some stable situations just to take care of wildfire survivors, we started looking very quickly at how we rebuild the community. At the state level, Oregon is looking at distributing hundreds of millions of dollars to help with fire recovery. We can spend it to address housing needs, particularly of low and moderate income individuals. We can use it to address infrastructure needs created by the fire. And in all those efforts, we want to spend the money in ways that make us more resilient to future disasters. Oregon Housing and Community Services now wants your feedback on where to put $422 million in relief money. It was given to the state by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Interested in hearing from individuals in the community. Um, we're particularly interested in hearing from fire survivors, of course. Um, but anybody whose neighbors have been impacted and, and wants to help shape how the how the state addresses the challenges are really welcome to, to share their thoughts with us. All this is happening as a Portland developer is working on something called the Mosaic Project in East Medford. The plan is to use modular units that are constructed in a factory that over time can become 140 housing units. The site is across the street from the Ivanko Gardens apartment complex. And, and his project, um, which will be constructed on six or seven acres in Medford, is pretty unique and innovative. When State Representative Pam Marsh heard about the idea, she thought it was a perfect match for the Rogue Valley. She says it's workforce housing for people who have jobs but can't afford to pay exorbitant rent. We don't get a lot of projects like this. I think it's really exciting. You know, the project is going to showcase this new approach to construction using modulars. It's a great, great opportunity to kind of crack open that marketplace and see what these units look like.